Hi, I'm Olivia and today I want to talk about how to go about reading your very first book in Japanese. Now last week I made a video talking about how to prepare yourself for reading your very first book and I went over how you can really build your foundation in vocabulary and reading comprehension using really easy and short materials made for beginner learners. So you might want to check out that video first. But today we're going to talk about reading your very first book that was written for Japanese speakers. So the first thing that you have to do is to pick a book and I really recommend that you start with manga. The pictures will really help you in figuring out what's going on in the story and the sentences are relatively short because when you first start reading you'll notice that your reading stamina is very low and you'll get tired very quickly and I know last week we talked about some resources that you can use to really build up that reading stamina by reading longer passages but since this is your first book that is written for Japanese speakers you'll notice that there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you don't know and a lot of the rules that you learned in your textbook are gonna be broken in these books a lot of new words a lot of new expressions so we want to make this first book as easy as possible and to make choosing your very first book easier I really recommend that you check out Wani Kani's community book club. So if you don't know what Wani Kani is, it is a website where I learn my kanji and they have a really awesome community forum where any Wani Kani user can talk to each other, even free users. So even if you're not planning on using Wani Kani, I really recommend making a free account specifically for what I'm going to talk about. So what you're going to want to do is scroll to the bottom of your Wani Kani homepage and click on this community button. This will bring up the community forum and then you're going to want to press reading under this Japanese category. You'll see that there is this thread that is pinned called the master list of book clubs. You're going to want to scroll down to this absolute beginner book club tab and pick a book from this list that seems interesting to you. Because if you don't like a book, you're not going to finish it, especially if it's in a foreign language. So from this list, I've personally read Doggy Detectives, which isn't a manga, but there's lots of pictures, Big Brother Rental, and Shirakuma Cafe. And I think they're all really good places to start. And the reason I like these book clubs is because for each book, there's an extensive vocabulary list in order of appearance in the book. So while you're reading your book, you're not gonna have to go to a separate website to look up every single word that you come across that you don't understand. You can simply have this vocabulary list open while you're reading and quickly find the word that you don't know. This was really a game changer for me when I was trying to read for my first few books because there's gonna be so many words that you still don't know. And this is just gonna save you so much time in finding those words and make it so much easier. And it doesn't end there. In each book club thread, anyone can ask a question about anything that they don't understand and someone else will answer that question for you. So if you're choosing a book club that's already been finished, you can go through the thread and look at any questions that someone already answered. And if you don't find your question there, even if they finished reading the book three years ago, you can type it in and someone will answer you. So once you've decided what book you want to read, you want to set yourself a reasonable daily goal. This could be a chapter, a page, a panel, whatever amount that you think is reasonable for you to do every day. And if you have more time, you can always read more, but this will just be a minimum amount that you are committing that you will do each day. Being consistent will really help you improve your reading faster. It will be a lot more beneficial if you're reading one page every day instead of reading a whole chapter on the weekend. And then when you're reading, have that vocabulary list open so you can quickly look up any words that you don't know. And if you're struggling with a sentence, just go look at the book club thread and see if anyone has already asked a question about what you're struggling with. And this last tip may be a bit more of personal preference, but when I was reading my very first book, I did not try to understand every single sentence. There's gonna be so much new material, so many new words, so many new expressions. And if you look up every single thing that you don't understand, it's gonna take you a really long time to finish that first book. You're probably gonna become frustrated. It's gonna feel like a chore and then you're gonna be less likely to want to finish. So my rule of thumb when I was reading was that if I generally understood what was going on, I could follow what the plot was, I didn't have to look anything up. If there was something that was interesting to me or I came across a word that looked really familiar and I wanted to know what it meant, then sometimes I'd look it up, but I did not look up every single thing I didn't understand. I only looked things up if I really needed to to understand what was going on or if I wanted to. It's gonna feel a little weird and you might feel like somehow you're cheating but I really challenge you to really become comfortable with that feeling of ambiguity. As long as you understand the basic plot of the story just keep going because I really found that following this rule really allowed me to enjoy my reading and therefore I read even more and the more that I read the more that I understood the more that I understood and then I could read faster and then I read more and just through this sheer quantity of reading I steadily became faster and better and could understand more. So that's my biggest tip for reading. Make it enjoyable. It's okay if you don't understand everything. It's okay if you don't look everything up. As long as you're enjoying yourself and you're practicing every day, you are going to get better. Now I really hope that you found today's video helpful and that it helps you in reading your very first book in Japanese. And I'd love to hear down in the comments what book you want to read first. And if you've already started reading, what was your very first book in Japanese? And if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a like so even more people can find it. And make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more. And that's all I have for today and I'll see you soon.